eight, we saw probably our highest annual transport data. We actually transported 600 new people to the hospital in one 24 hour period. Our average for all of last year was 572. So this is this is a significant problem for us. A recent national survey involving 200 cities suggested the national average wait time for handing off ambulance patients at hospitals has doubled from 20 minutes to 45 minutes since 2006. But the problem's not going To address our local issue in, in March of 2013, a collaborative work group organized by the State EMS Authority and the California Hospital Association began to meet to work on addressing this wall time issue. Um, you know, if we were driving very fast in our sports car previously, we're kind of running like right now when it comes to providing ambulance transport capabilities for our public. So it's very important that if we have these issues like ambulance wall time, that if we can make it as efficient as possible, it obviously helps you know, protect our communities. Just yesterday, we transported uh, 626 people to the hospital in the 24 hour period. That's 24-hour bomb. Yes, sir. Wow. That's, 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 that's not that's not um, that's not extraordinary. And my point is, is that um, for us, we're the largest hard-based annual provider in the state of California. This is big business. Okay. Um, well, the other issue is uh, it's Plumber Street. We have areas around Cessnon. We have areas around. It's a business district. Uh, these are wide streets. They find other areas. They move. You're just moving the problem. There, these. These, these, these kids, if you will, um, and, and some of them are even adults, are spending a lot of money in, to seriously modify their vehicles. Uh, they're going to look for other opportunities in other locations. The idea is that we've got to crack down on them. We have to go after them. We have to impound those vehicles and when they cause these types of crimes uh, and, uh, and teach them a lesson.